but somehow that reminds me of what was going on in Germany during the Nazi time. Welcome back to a, well, let's say rather cloudy episode of Motoganda. You know, normally people really like if they're right about something. Well, in my case, or better let's say, especially in that case, I'm not too happy that I was right or that I predicted it, kind of. I mean, I don't know if you did hear about Operation Atlantic Resolve already. I mean, if you didn't hear about it, you shouldn't be wondering, because mainstream media coverage on this one was, well, rather low, I would say. And if the coverage was there, it was pretty much fucked up. But I actually predicted it couple of videos ago as you can see up there right now and in four months a lot of things can happen for example if I read that 300,000 NATO troops got now moved to the Russian border well in four months is in theory enough time for a war to start or anything but let's see what this operation is actually. Well, if you believe mainstream media, which I kind of doubt my viewers do, but if you trust mainstream media, then you will find stuff like, yeah, Poland looking forward and welcoming them. Like, yeah, it's always welcome if you see some war preparations going on and even in Germany where they shipped initially shipped the troops and the material to and then transported on from there even there you find either zero coverage or rather downplaying or even positive coverage because what, what you find in most newspapers is some quote which actually no one shows where it comes from but they're saying yeah 87 tanks US tanks by the way arrived in Bremerhaven which is a city in Germany and will participate in that operation well so far 87 tanks doesn't sound anything big right I mean what can you do with 87 tanks but let's have a look at the official NATO numbers what actually arrived there I will put the link to the source as usual in the description but you can see the numbers now coming up over there so now that doesn't look like those small numbers of just 87 tanks I mean okay there they were right about the 87 tanks but they forgot or most likely left out on purpose the rest to make it sound way less dangerous but the more worrying part about it is not just the numbers it's the purpose and the location I mean the official purpose 
it's obviously just an exercise and as well to counter the Russian threat I mean what Russian threat again the official story again is the Russian threat against the Eastern European countries so imagine if something like a fake I don't know attack of Russia against oh, let's say Lithuania or Latvia or Estonia would happen but for the reason well pretty hard actually for for me to think about any kind of reasoning course well there is basically no reasoning but let's say some stupid reasoning Russia wants to rebuild the Soviet Empire that for me at least sounds the least ridiculous reason I mean it's quite unlikely or well at least I hope it's unlikely but it still might happen and that might actually course Trump not to enter office of course obviously in that case then you would find Obama staying and well fighting the Russians or even even if they just start fighting and Trump enters into office well pretty hard to get out of such a conflict then again so let's hope I'm wrong with my prediction this time and I don't even like to make that prediction but somehow that reminds me of what was going on in Germany during the Nazi time I mean that was also always called yeah just preparations to defend and well we know how it ended so I think or I'm afraid there might be something happening this week I mean this week is the last chance so to say even if that sounds pretty bad well apparently it looks like I really managed to get this video done in just one segment this time what I actually was planning for this year getting them a bit shorter I hope you enjoyed it if you did so make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it all over social media and the entire internet just spam it around if you have any ideas, opinions or anything else to say, you're very welcome to put it down there in the comments. And obviously, if you still didn't subscribe, now is the time, hit that subscribe button and as well hit this bell button so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And I see you in the next video.